Hello and welcome to the new series of videos on Vedic Mathematics. Now Vedic Mathematics in simple words is a system in which you can calculate or you can do your mathematical calculations very fast. And some initial videos we will just be spending on doing the basic mathematical operations. For example multiplication, subtraction, division and so on. So let us start with a very simple way to multiply numbers from 6 to 10. So what you really need to know is simply remember the tables, the multiplication tables from 1 to 5. In fact 10 we can exclude because 10, remembering the tens multiplication is a pretty simple thing. So let us look at a simple example where we have to multiply by 9 multiplied by 7. Now we do something is to use a base number and the base number is 10 because after 9 we get 10 which is like with the zeros so let's use the 10 as a base so what we do is we simply write the base value over here so I'm just writing this in white so 10 now you need to write so this is our first column and in this column we need to write how much is the deficiency okay how much this number is far away from 10 so when I say 10 minus 9 it is actually 1 right? it is just 1 far away from 10 and why I say minus 1 because we say minus 1 because it's a deficiency it's far away from 10 now how about 7 10 minus 7 it is 3 and because it's a deficiency we write it as 3 now let us see how we arrive to the results of 9 by 7 9 multiplied by 7 with this so first you need to get the units digit and then you can get the tens digit now to get the units digit what you need to do is simply multiply the numbers in this column the second column in where we have written so minus 1 multiplied by minus 3 is 3 remember that you have to follow the rules of multiplication or of signs so when you have these signs when you multiply your minus number the number negative number with another negative number you get a positive number so this becomes 3 okay and now how do we arrive at this number so there are two ways to do it one is you subtract diagonally that is I need to do this operation 9 minus 3 so 9 minus 3 would give you 6 and if you combine these two you will find out that 9 sevens are 63 is the answer okay the other way in which you can arrive at the same number is you can also do this subtraction the cross 7 minus 1 that would also give you 6 so you can just look at the number and figure out which one is easy for you and you can do that in fact the multiplication sign has come because of this this cross that we did here now let's try another one so let us say that we want to multiply 9 by 9 same thing you write 10 as a base here 10 minus 9 gives me minus 1 minus is the deficiency then again 10 minus 9 gives us minus 1 we write a number over here and this will give me my units digit so we just write this minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 and 9 minus 1 I can do this subtraction here so it gives me 8 and therefore 81 is my answer so in this way you can quickly find out the multiplication of two numbers which are greater than 5 but less than 10 now please note that with practice this will become very fast so if you see here one of the things that happens these two examples that we have taken when I do this multiplication 1 multiplied by 3 what happens is that we are getting a single number over here but that could be a case when we actually get a double digit number for example let's say if I want to multiply 7 by 6 that is 7 multiplied by 6 now following our method of taking the base 10 and 10 minus 7 gives me 3 but because it's a deficiency therefore I write a minus here so and 10 minus 6 gives me a deficiency of minus 4 now when I say 3 4s are 12 now 1 you can write it like this and 
2 is here. So you get a 12. I mean, this one I have written purposefully here. Now, this, what we need to do in this case is simply to carry it over here. Okay, so let us say we have 7 minus 4. We, I will use this, 7 minus 4. It gives me 3. Okay, this one we need to carry it over here and 3 plus 1 becomes 4. So it becomes 42. Okay, you can try that with other examples as well. You will find. So, so we learned two cases. So uh, one is without carry and one is with the carry. So whenever you have a carry, you can multiply it here. Now you can try some quick sums using this method.